published 0541 EDT, the 28th of August 2017 updated 0548 EDT, the 28th of August 2017 revelers are descending on the colorful climax of Notting Hill Carnival with police hoping for a quieter finale than last year, having already made more than 150 arrests. The streets of West London are already filling up on what could be the hottest August bank holiday Monday on record, with 155 people having been taken into custody already more than double the figure at the same stage in 2016. Police only detained 71 people on the Sunday 12 months ago but faced far significantly more trouble as the carnival drew to conclusion, with 245 being arrested during the festivities on the Monday and even more having knives and drugs seized in the aftermath. So far this weekend, eight people were detained on suspicion of carrying a blade, 13 for GBH, ABH and assault, a further five for attacking police officers and 15 for public order offenses. Samba dancers in colorful costumes arrive as they prepare for a colorful climax to the world's biggest street festival this morning. Two dancers dressed in pink walking across the streets of West London to reach the start of the parade route, which will be filled in a number of hours. Juliana Campos and her nine-year-old daughter Bella perform in their glittery outfits as they wait for the action to get underway some tartan-clad performers make their way to the start of the parade on the second and final day of the Notting Hill Carnival. Two women dressed in eccentric outfits walk down the streets of Notting Hill as stall holders get their areas set up in the background. Samba dancers traveling on the London Underground in their colorful costumes as they make their way to Notting Hill for the carnival yesterday. An ambulance worker was seen tending to a festive ago or earlier after they were spotted slumped on the pavement as of 9.30 a.m. 5x assault on police 3x criminal damage 15x public order offenses 8x offensive weapon points and blades 1x theft 54x drugs offenses 3x psychoactive drugs 8x sexual offenses 2x gbh 11x abh common assault 12x other offenses the most common crime was drug possession with 57 arrests for illicit substances 8 for sexual offenses 3 for criminal damage 1 suspected theft and 12 other offenses Metropolitan police officials said thousands of officers would be on patrol on each day of the event amid the heightened security concerns. On Sunday, the crowds fell silent as carnival goers broke off from the vibrant event to pay their respects. Those affected by the Grunfell Tower tragedy in June and another minute's silence is due to be held today. The festive goers, smattered with paint and wearing brightly colored clothes, bowed their heads in respectful silence for those caught in the tragedy on June 14, when at least 80 people lost their lives. Powerful images showed people raising their fists in solidarity with victims, others show crowds applauding firefighters who risked their lives during the inferno. The carnival opened with a multi-faith ceremony dedicated to victims of the horrific blaze, and charity single bridge over troubled water was sung. Police arrived to attend the first day of the Notting Hill Carnival in West London yesterday. Up to 8,000 officers are on patrol along the festival route. Powerful images show people raising their fists in solidarity with victims. Others show crowds applauding firefighters who risked their lives during the inferno. The festival fell silent as carnival goers broke off from the vibrant event to pay their respects to victims of the tragedy and June firefighters who were involved in T. Grenfell Tower. Disaster were applauded by carnival goers who gathered outside a fire station in West London. Two women hug firefighters outside the fire station in West London following the minute's silence in memory of those who lost their lives in June's tragedy. Hundreds of thousands of revelers at Notting Hill Carnival will observe a minute's silence today to mark the Grenfell Tower tragedy. The carnival opened with a multi-faith ceremony dedicated to victims of the horrific blaze, and charity single bridge over troubled water was sung. The two-day West London festival, taking place in the shadow of the burnt-out Grenfell Bell Tower will see thousands of police officers on the streets. Kensington MP Emma Dent Code gave a speech this morning as the celebration opened with a multi-faith prayer and release of doves in remembrance of the Grenfell victims. Performers near to the high-rise have been asked to keep their music volume low and walk respectively. Steel barriers, concrete blocks and weapons checks are some of the measures being used to help protect the world-famous carnival from the threat of a Barcelona-style terror incident as well as acid attacks. Police said there is no specific counterterrorism intelligence but security plans had been thoroughly reviewed following the attack in the Spanish city earlier this month, in which 15 people died after being hit by a van. Mayor of London Sadiq Khan poses with a young performer during today's festivities. Mr. Khan released a dove at the opening of the event to mark the Grenfell tragedy. These chaps look regal in their costumer.
golden lion heads sit on top of their heads while feathers and ribbons jut out from the side green for Grenfell people gather together to observe a minute of silence for the victims of the tower block fire a man plastered in paint has a plastic bag for his mobile phone tied around his neck a wise move when becoming slathered in paint is almost an inevitability everyone's pretty in pink revelers dance in the street as hundreds of thousands of partygoers descend on the carnival in West London officers will be stationed around the perimeter of the carnival zone carrying out checks for weapons and corrosive substances following a controversial three-week crackdown to reduce criminality at the event. They also plan to use facial recognition technology, which will help the force spot those thought to be likely to cause trouble. Despite the seriousness of heightened security, revelers are still determined to enjoy themselves, many of whom have prepared magnificent costumes and outfits for the occasion. Overall policing numbers will stay the same as last year, with around six to 7,000 officers on duty each day. Hundreds of hand-drawn tributes, flowers and candles laid in the wake of the Grenfell Tower fire will be protected by fencing, while a ring of care will be formed around the tower by police officers to protect the Lancaster West Estate from the hundreds of thousands of passing carnival goers. Ms. Dentcode, who has said the carnival is needed this year more than ever, will give a speech on Sunday morning as the celebration opens with a multi-faith prayer and release of doves in remembrance of the dead. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, pictured releasing doves in remembrance of those who lost their lives in the Grenfell Tower tragedy. The looming shadow of Grenfell Tower, the high-rise, can be seen in the background as dazzling performers adorn the streets. This morning, police said a dedicated area would be put in place for people to leave tributes without obstructing the carnival flow. Organizers said this year's Notting Hill Carnival will be a healing opportunity for the local community after the Grenfell Tower fire but somber overtones have failed to cloud the carnival atmosphere, as one Sky News reporter found out all too well. Journalist Joe Tidy was playfully ambushed when reporting from the London Festival at around 8 a.m. this morning. He described festive goers' moods as fantastic before spotting revelers carrying paint. He joked told up, I've been waiting for this before he was slathered in colorful paint. Performers passing the black and high-rise have been encouraged to lower their music volume and walk respectfully in memory of those who died in the inferno. At 3 p.m. on both days hundreds of thousands of revelers along the route are expected to pause and observe a minute's silence to mark the tragedy, in which at least 80 people are confirmed to have died. The unfortunate owner of this car may think twice about where they leave their pricey motor ahead next year's Notting Hill Carnival boisterous Karen Balgoers have transformed the otherwise boring-looking car into a dazzling piece of art. Hopefully, the owner won't be too critical. Crowds gather around the car as a man dances on top of it. At 3 a.m., the festival will embrace a more somber tone when a 3 p.m. one minute silence will be observed to mark the Grenfell Tower tragedy. A pair of what appears to be a women's underwear sits on top of the car while a man takes a break from the festivities and parks himself on the roof. A performer beams while wearing a dazzling costume. The Notting Hill Carnival is Europe's biggest. The event is expected to draw in at least a million people. Colorful and vibrant costume is a yearly feature at the carnival, the history of which is rooted in celebrating Afro-Caribbean culture and community cohesion. Despite the seriousness of heightened security, revelers are still determined to enjoy themselves as organizers are encouraging attendees to wear or accessorize in green for Grenfell in a display of reverence and respect amidst the revelry. There will be a reflection zone near the tower and posters have been put up asking the public not to take photographs at the site of our great loss and activity which has distressed locals since the fire two months ago. Police said a dedicated area would be put in place for people to leave tributes without obstructing the carnival flow. The carnival is getting underway after the Met Police defended a series of raids carried out in the run-up to the event. In three-week crackdown by officers, more than 600 people were arrested and large numbers of knives, guns, weapons, drugs and money seized. The Met also tweeted an image of what they say was a kilogram of uncut heroin found in Catford, southeast London. There are fears the capital could be faced with significant travel disruption after 400 bus staff went on strike at 12.01 this morning. Controllers of London's travel network will continue the action for 48 hours, over a disparity between their pay rises and those of London underground staff. Costumed festive goers prepare for Notting Hill Carnival. The festival is expected to draw more than 1 million visitors this year. Kensington MP Emma Dentcode, left with Mayor of London Sadiq Khan, gave a speech this morning as the celebration opened with a multi-faith prayer and release of doves in remembrance of the Grenfell victims. Journalist Joe Tidy was playfully ambushed when reporting from the London Festival at around 8 a.m. this morning. He joked told up, I've been waiting for this before he was slathered in colorful paint.